What it is, what it do, Gorilla Crew. It's your boy, Gorilla Fan, here bringing you some of that good, good smash and grab gameplay. So I forgot. I kind of did, but then I remembered like midway through my sentence. And today we are playing Drip Off. That's the most important part. Let's talk about who we're playing. Playing Drip Off and playing a heavy loot build because that's pretty much the only good Drip Off build um, like at this current point in time with only having six perk points. Uh, Specials go heavy loot. I mean, you can always go like a heavy tanky Drip Off build, but it's kind of like, but why though? Heavy loot is so good um, because it has so many different like it has a heal aspect and it has an armor aspect and it has a crafting um, item aspect and it. it just has everything. Um, and uh, if you didn't know before, you know now. If you just uh, run to electronics at the beginning of the game uh, with drip off, you are pretty much guaranteed a pink shovel. Like uh, with catch, like with catch and drip off. Uh, if you run the drip off build where you get a 15% chance to find looting material. Or if you just put it on catch pretty much for him to find you stuff, like you, you're always gonna get pink shovel, like right in the beginning, pink shovel every time, all day, every day, twice on Sundays. Um, so we got pink shovel, we're just chilling. We took all the buffs in the middle. Uh, the reason I take all the buffs is because buffs are important. Like a lot of people ignore them. Uh, they go for loot, but if going into a fight, if you have a, uh oh, beef, beef. I missed? Oh, never mind. It's all good. 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 Um, but anyway, if you go into a fight and you have buffs and they don't, you have an advantage, which is a huge. And sometimes, believe it or not, the loot will be there when you get done. Like, you know, some people don't believe it. But yeah, you can go kill a team pretty much, turn around, and guess what? Loot's still there. So you get the best of both worlds. Uh, me, me, myself, I think I'm a pretty good fighter. So I kind of like to initiate fights. Um, so... I'm a strong believer in fighting first and looting second. Because, like, if you win the fight, you get such an advantage going forward for looting. Uh, what I mean by that is their team is dead for, I don't know, the actual timers, but let's say 10 to 15 seconds. With Drip Off, you loot an entire, you loot a 5K store in about six, seven seconds. So, technically, like, in theory, you could probably get two 5K stores to their one team death. Uh, that's pretty big. I'm not taking this fight. I got Mega Boost, but uh, I don't know. 1v4 team is, uh, uh, fuck it, let's go, Lego, 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 Lego. What am I swinging at? Oh, there's an upscrap here. Who was running the damn dude with the, pop? Got him. Done, he done. I singled him out. Mine, 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 mine. Where you going? Where you going, Mega Boost, bitch? Now run away. Got him. I hate the uh, lieutenant that does the thing, that does the do with the thing. I hate that, the little bomb that... You see what I'm saying? Like, right now, we don't have an advantage. I mean, we get a monetary advantage because we killed them. We get to kill out the crews, which is like 50 per little soldier guy. And no, it's, I think it's more than 50. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have to, like, look and see. Um, but we get to wipe their lieutenants. They We get to fuck up their spawn times, which means a lot of crew members might be stuck out by Christmas. Christmas! <laughs> I'm pretty sure he disconnected. I'm just guessing. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's back. He's back now. He's back now. He's back now. Wow. Wow. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? No. Come on back to the blender. Oh, fuck. Mega Boost. I, I'm balls deep and Mega Boost just wore off. Done. He was double. He was double dead because, like, he had a bomb on him, too. Bam. Wait, what? Oh, she grabbed him. So the grab canceled out my, my charge. So no stun. Oh, I'm in trouble. Why does he have bleed on shovel? Bad. 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 Stop blocking. Take it like a man. Nice, nice E, nice E. Got him. You get, you get. Oh, what are you doing, dude? This is what. Look, bruh, bruh. Me and your man signed a contract. One v fucking one. Why, why, why you in the friend? Why you in the friend? Huh? Why, why you, why you, why you trying to jump me? Huh? Why you trying to jump me? We could have one v one this shit, bruh. We could have just man, mano y mano, man on man. You know what I mean? But anyway, back to the. Back to the drip off build. Um, we just gonna hit the store over here. Once again, it takes about three, four seconds. I got my F up. Plus your F comes back. So I swear it's like, your F lasts 10 seconds. For those who don't know, if you hit F while you're breaking a window, you do 20 extra damage. Um, your F lasts 10 seconds, right? So you loot an entire store in about six to seven. A uh, 5K store. Um, after, look, I'm trying to deny the hammers. I mean the axes. Anybody, anybody, team, team. There's three heavies. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can kill him. I can kill him. Nice, done. 
Dunzo. Dunzo. All right, all right, all right. Team, team, respect the pain. I don't even think I pinged. I just said respect. Uh, but look, my uh, what? my F is already back up. Like, already. Like, already. What are you doing? Get off me, son. I'm busy. Nice. Oh, my fucking goodness. Bruh, grab him. Thank you. Jesus. Fuck around. He might accidentally kill me. Like, kind of on purpose, though. And we F it out. Uh, Look at this. We have five seconds left for the F expires. And that store is done. Like, done, though. And like I said, I'm running a... Uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, Arcanist, right? Ain't it? Ain't that the word? Anyway, I'm not running looters. I'm running the guys that help you break into stores faster. God, what is oh, I can't. It's like you have you ever had a word that you know how to say? You said it before, but just at this very moment, you're just like, oh, oh. God, how do it's not Ar Arcanist, right? Like Arkham, Arkham or something? I don't know. I, anyway, you know what I meant. Like, I'll show the crew here in a moment. Oh, yeah. Yo, what's up? What's up, son? What's up? Bah! Why, do, why am I attacking you with a shovel? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mistakes are made. Mistakes are made. Mistakes are made. Wah! 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 Oh, no. Mistakes are made. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. Yep. He's got the fire shovel. Run, bitch! Run! Wah! Never mind. See, before, I thought when I dropped a line in the sand, I was invincible to damage. I don't think so. I do not think you are invincible to damage when you draw a line in the sand. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like 80% sure-ish that you're not. Like, I think it's just you drew a line in the sand. I don't think you're invincible. So I might, I might want to keep that. For those who thought, or if it was like that before and it's not anymore, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not because I've drawn a lot of lines in the sand and I've died a lot because of it. I'm sorry, Tim Blaze. I'm about to take this from you, boo. No upgrade for you. You got mega boost. Go kill somebody. Tim Blades, where are you going? Go kill somebody. Respect the ping, team. Respect the ping. What? They all come from. Yogurt! Yeah. Were you the one that killed me just a minute ago? Oh, he is fucked. He is by himself with three of us. Yeah, he's done. On fire. Mega boost wasted. Why are you, you run up in here? Are you a. Oh, God. He got melted. I didn't even get to ask you a question. Yogurt! Nice. You're the one that killed me just a minute ago. Yeah, see, you can't come in one one at a time against against us all three. Like, we're all three together. So when that first one comes in, dead. Second one comes in, dead. Third one comes in, dead. Me, honestly, if I was the third guy, I wouldn't even came in. I would have, you know, I would have bounced. I, in all honesty, the Mega Boost guy should have seen the situation and seen that his team was a bunch of bitches, and he shouldn't have took that fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow! What's up? Oh, he's an AI. Oh, never mind now. I can't even get enjoyment out of this shit no more. He dead. On fire. Ten blades. What was that upscribe? Oh, upscribe good though. Upscribe good. He popped that heal. See, and then they came back one at a time, which is cool. Oh, uh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> what? Are you a bot too, son? You can't just run in there. Yeah. They're not gonna kill me, Johnny. I promise. We have an agreement. We have an accord. No. Nope. Fire. 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 You see Reaper try to kill me? Reaper will kill you. I need you to understand. Reaper will accidentally, kind of on purpose, kill you. Like that, that passive sometimes with the right perk build on the Reaper. You'll get. You didn't die? Impressive. Impressive. You're dead now, but still. To eat a Yugit and not die is quite impressive. You see, I burnt the F early here because I seen them running by. So I kind of want to open this immediately. And uh, we might not be able to loot the whole thing because my crew isn't here for one thing. Um, so just me and another crew member. Um, look at the armor though. Look at the stacks. Build them up. I, like is, I don't know if you guys know. I haven't read anything that specifically says, but I'm just curious. Is one stack of armor a multiplier, or is that literally just one armor? Like for example, if I have 80 stacks of armor, which is the dream with drip off. If I have 80 stacks of armor, is that like equivalently giving me 80 health? Or is that like giving me a multiplier of armor, like a times 80 multiplier? Like I say, if each each one armor was 0.5 armor, if, oh wow, we're about to win. If I were to have 80, would it be 0.5 times 80? So effectively I have like, what, 40? Like 40 extra armor? Or is it just like one armor is equivalent to one multiplier? Like, is that how it works? I, I'm just curious. I mean, because I, I don't know like where to find it. He's almost dead, which means if he hits me, I am dead. Nice stun. You're I love it, man. I love it. I love the, I love the charge heavy attack. 
Honestly, the, the, the drip off combo I use the most more than anything else is, um, did I hit anybody? I hit one, I hit one. Is to uh, use my E. Well, no, no, is it E? No, Q, 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 Q. Use my, um, damn, bruh, stop it. Oh shit, we're about to win, we're about to win, don't die. Yes. Huh, I stalled out there so I didn't die accidentally. Um, but uh, yeah, so I use my Q to like knock them and then they're stunned, like that's the battering ram. And then I'll charge them and use the charge uh, uppercut, you get as I like to call it, to finish them off. Look at that loot though, 34k loot, eight leader kills. I also have the perk that like my catch gives me extra for leader kills, it stacks up to five times. So we're gonna show off the gold jacket, Arcanist, right? Or Anarchist, that's it, Anarchist, that's the word, that's English. That's the crew that I run with Drip Off. This is the perk lineup, it's a 204, that's what we'll call it. Um, if you, you know, each category one, two, and three, so it'd be a two, zero on the two on category one, zero on category two, and on category four, it, I mean, on category three, it would be a four, so a two, zero, four. Uh, and then I run catch, like, there's literally only one loop build for catch. You put it all into, um, acquisition, I believe. Um, cause, no, you put two in the acquisition and four into uh, his other, uh, side the reason being is because the other side gains you movement speed so uh yeah uh, I'll, I'll post a picture of uh, my catch at the end of the video um so yeah so all right this is you know we've seen the build we know um what crew we run um what perks i have uh i found normally with drip off you want to start off by just getting the speed boost the speed boost is the most important thing because you gotta get to that middle get that pink uh hammer shovel shovel i said shovel i said shovel Oh, anyway, you gotta get that pink shovel. Once you get the pink shovel, uh, if you're facing another drip off, that's where the first big team fight could potentially take place. Um, because you can get the pink shovel, you can deny them a pink shovel, which slows their drip off a little bit in the looting going in stage two. You can also get the buffs, which gives you the advantage in a fight. Normally, I wouldn't crack this, but I'm not really, I don't really remember their team comp, so I want to just get this off the map ASAP. And I know I can burn through it in three seconds. Yep done um so I, I blocked it i got both damage buffs i don't really care so much about the armor because as you can see i'm already on some stacks of armor as it is um and that's a time armor and i don't know like how once again it multiplies how it adds does it add two like you know I, mean, I don't know the numbers man i don't know the numbers you know look at that elf's already back up crew get it uh i'm gonna go fight you guys get it wow hey you didn't go electronic oh he, he might have went honestly he might have went um to the uh range electronics if you don't know what I mean, dead. This is the buff. Mm, nice. That, that, that's pretty much what you do. Uh, oh, and I caught. Mm, and I caught your catch. Everything he just looted. Damn, yog it, yog it. Uh, everything he just. Looted, oh my God. Get him off me, coach. I'm a killer. I'm a killer, coach. What are you doing? Oh, he he survived. Oh, he fucked it up. All right, he's dead now. How, what? I slammed him. No kill animation. Did he? Whatever. So pretty much every crafting material they just looted, I just got two, which works out better for me in going forward with Drip Off. I'm starting to uh, formulate a theory here on uh, mods, like how to mod up a weapon correctly. My theory is, um, you guys can try this in, in, you know, in your gameplays and whatnot, but this is my theory. I feel with certain, like Drip Off for example, wow, ran through her like butter. If you've ever bitched about 10 blades, play drip off and you run through 10 blades like butter. Like it's, it's just so easy, it's easy peasy. You hit her with your Q, she wakes up stunned, you charge her, hit her with the shovel cause she's still stunned. Then when she stands up, you grapple her and you slam her or you just hit her with your shovel again. Like there's so many ways to just kill her. She's just, she's just a glass cannon. But anyway, this is my theory on modding weapons. I normally always go fire on certain characters, but I'm thinking with a characters like drip off. I normally go fire on drip off, but why though? You know what I'm saying there? You get, you get it, like, but why am I going fire on Drip? Drip Off's not known for damage, okay? Why don't I go something that would better help the team, such as poison? Damn, slaughtered. Get off me. Uh, I might be dead. Like, why don't I go poison? Like, definitely they have an upscribe, so why don't I play Drip Off not only as a looter, but as a utility? You get what I'm saying? I want you guys to, like, process that for a moment in your next, your next game. Let's say you're playing upscribe, for example. 
or you're playing um, not necessarily 10 blades because she's an assassin so you really want to go for as much damage as possible with 10 blades but you're playing um, you know drip off you're playing upscribe you're playing a what some could consider a utility type character um why don't you play a utility type skill oh god oh god I'm in too deep that hit her that hit her oh I'm fucked I'm fucked that's instant squat Cause you're fucked. Cause you just ran out of your uh, out of your uh, charge. Um, but yeah. So I'm I'm thinking it's it's something I'm gonna start looking into. Uh, the more I play, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's three of them. It's one of me. Yep. That that was easy. But something I'm gonna start looking into. I'm gonna start looking into different builds instead of going just one straight line. Because like I said, I normally push for damage with drip off. That might be wrong. I honestly, all you need is one guy to poison. And it completely counters. A lot of the heavy support lieutenants that are being played right now, if you think about it. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking about doing that. Did he run off? Okay, he's losing. He's losing. I thought we was about to fight, but he's like extremely low health. Um, because a lot of players are playing support as lieutenants, and a good way to counter that is honestly just poison. The lieutenant still procs because he's it's a time proc. It's not like uh, like you as a player cannot trigger it. All right, it's a time prop. It's going to happen regardless. So if you could, in a sense, take advantage of, of said that you know that this is going to happen, let me take advantage of it, and in a sense, make him waste it by poisoning him. That's a huge advantage in any team fight. Wow, Neil. Wow, Neil. Get off me, son! Shit! God. Like, AI is so aggressive now. I don't know if, like, something happened and they just turned up their aggressiveness, but good God, AI is aggressive. Like, before, I could literally run by AI. No fucks were given. AI would never bother me. Now? Oh, my God. I've died to so many docs just standing there. Oh, all right. Thank you, team. Thank you. Handle him. And thank you. Beat him senseless. Thank you. Oh, you got countered. Did you not see him like squat for? Okay, okay, nice. Done, 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 done. Block it. I was gonna say he can't block three different attacks coming from three different angles. Come on now. Um, but yeah, AI is like really aggressive. Like if you're around AI, and you're low health, you might die. Like just from a random goon. And before it wasn't like that for me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe they turned it up a little bit, or maybe it's always been like that, and I've just been lucky. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Ooh, great. Um, gotta get health though. Don't want to die to AI. That's, that's embarrassing during the video. I mean, it happens. Like you, you're going to die to a goon occasionally. Uh, also, if you notice, I pop F on crates uh, to get my um, my soldiers to like focus crates. The reason being because like I want the crate open as soon as possible. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. Mega boost I added damage. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I want you guys to notice something here. I noticed it uh, later. Watch my looting. Do you see those two categories that pop up and instantly vanish? I'm pretty sure those are other perks. Like, I mean, other like additives that I'm going to get that like once they open up the perks fully, I'll be able to get. I'm not 100% because one's a movement speed. But no, 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 no. I think I know it. I think it's uh, when I'm looting, I get health and I get uh, adrenaline. So I think that's the symbol for health and adrenaline, even though it looks like armor. Caught him. But uh, I don't know, I, cause like if you notice, like it's there and it, it immediately vanishes. So it could be the trigger telling me like, hey, I healed five health, and also it could be the stamina and the adrenaline uh, symbols. I don't know yet. I don't know. I need to look further into it, but I just wanted to point it out to you guys. Like, notice that. Like, I don't know if they have coding in already for the tier three perks, and since the coding's in, the game is showing it, even though like we can't get them, or if it's Due to the perks I have, it's showing me that they're actually triggering because they're passive. But I don't know why they want to show me that, though. Well, I'm not taking that fight. Not when I have a shovel out. And he, why did you take that, Neil? Why did I hit my E right there, though? I'm just holding. Just, just hold it. Hold the E. All right. Uh, you okay? Dead. They're dead. No, just, just turn away. Just turn away. They're dead. <laughs> when you see flames like that, they're dead. See, but I don't know, man. Like, for this example, like, during this comp, like, for me to run poison would have been kind of pointless because no one, like, you, I, I think I, I'm going to have to put more strategy into my mods on my weapons and stop going brain dead damage. Um, What I mean by that is look and see what lieutenants they're running. Where are we at? Oh, 33K to 20? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is this is a slaughter fest. Um, but put more thought 
into which my line I'm taking. Like if I see, I don't know, two upscribes and a doom child, right? And I see um, both upscribes are running doc and the doom child is running a reaper. I might want to actually consider going poison over fire. The reason being, I deny both upscribes heals and also deny their lieutenants because the lieutenant, once again, only heals the leader. Um, and then, like, let's say if I'm going against a damage combo, if I'm going against a Neo, a Doom Child, and a Template. Now, that might permit more damage because all those characters are not like necessarily weak, but oh wow, we're at 49. Wow, I didn't even get to finish off my sentence here. But just just when, you, when you're queuing up, look more into the lieutenant and think of how to stop that. I think it'll uh, actually help you on the gameplay aspect of it. I don't play any character for that matter, even though this is a drip off guide and how to loot with drip off and pretty much how you loot with drip off is you set up a loot crew and then you loot. Like I said, I use the, um, fuck, I forgot how to say that word. Come on, man. Come on, Gorilla. How'd you forget? Uh, Anarchist. Ha ha! Found it. Uh, I used the Anarchist, but wow, 10 leader kills though? Work. Pull up. Work. Anyway, uh, yeah, so just, that's once again, just to break into the stores faster, hit that F as soon as we break into the stores and loot them out. Um, Cause speed looting is not drip off's downfall, it's breaking into the store as soon as possible. Um, So that's the, so that's pretty much what I do with the Anarchist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of drip off gameplay, Mega Loot Central. Um, I look forward to uh, bring you guys more of this content. Leave a like down below, leave comments if there's any particular character you want me to play. And as always, peace to you. Love you guys, be blessed.